Hey everybody, welcome to 2020. Are you ready for this year? Are you ready to see what 2020 is going to bring for you and for your customers? And it looks like my lights and my green screen aren't quite working too well, but we're going to just go with this. Give me just a minute. Hmm. Well, you know, it is Tech Wednesday, like my uh, friend RJ had her fun on Tech Tuesday. I'm doing Tech Thursday, having too much fun. Um, but it looks like my light's just off a little bit. I'm going to keep going. So, today, I wanted to talk to you about how to use OPL. So, if you're watching, please drop me in the comments um how what you know if you read if you got an email that said to you know how to use other people's money and i've got a comment here already from um my coach cat about the easiest way to grow your list is to work with somebody who already has a great list duh so as business people we can leverage each other's stuff so right now, I'm going to ask, I'm going to do a favor and ask you guys. We're going to test this out. I want you to test it out by hitting the share button and send this out to your audience and say, come over and listen to Stacy talk about how we can use other people's lists. And hit, uh, put in comments, put in the comment that you shared if you were able to share that. Um, and I will give you double thumbs up because I really appreciate it that helps me share your through your list and when you go live I want you to come ask me the same question because I want to share your stuff out and your brilliance out to everybody else <coughs> so I was on a really cool networking call last night and the um it was well, I'm not, I'm not shameless enough to not say who it was. It was Polka Dot Powerhouse. And Sh Shannon Crotty, who is the founder of it, I was lucky enough, she was the moderator last night. And she told us, she had some great tips for us, but the biggest takeaway I had was what we do in business is we have 97% of the things we do, we're not so good at. We don't know what we're doing. We're not as good at but the, what that leaves is the 3% that we are freaking brilliant at. And every one of you out there has freaking brilliance that you're good at. Um, speaking of brilliance, I am try, uh, inviting people over and they just sent me a message. So speaking of other people's brilliance. <clears throat> so you have that 3% brilliance. And the other people you network with have the 97% brilliance that you don't have. So guess how you leverage that? You leverage each other's lists. You leverage each other's knowledge. You connect with people. You build phenomenal relationships and get to know each other. So that if I have a financial call, I'm going to call JB. He's going to be like my first call. If I have a business branding startup and follow-up question how to get the right uh, clients to myself I'm calling Cat and Barry if I have a question about bots which I know something about but not a whole not as much as as the Queen I'm gonna call the Queen o bots Miss RJ Redden okay so I'm gonna take their three percent brilliance that I know they have and I'm gonna say hey I got 97% that I'm not so good at. Can you help me out? Or can I can I pay you? Can I trade you? Can I it, it works out in lots of different ways. But it's that you know you have that 3% brilliance that you put out into the world. And if you add that up, it's how many times when you if you have 3% of brilliance, how many times of 3% brilliance do you need before you get to 97? Let's see how much of that is. And I'm not doing math in my head today, so. Um, you need 33 people in your network. And that's minimum. 
so that you can make up for that 97 brilliant percent of brilliance that you don't quite have. So you need 33 other people who have brilliance in areas you don't to make up for the the 97 percent and then you have that three percent that you put your three percent in somebody else's pot. So that's kind of the basis for what I'm talking about today of using other people's lists in order to get your word out there. So I asked you to share out this broadcast to other people and I know some people have. Thank you JB for sharing. I know you did. Um, I know it's been shared in some groups and so if you're watching from the Empowered Women Summit group, if you're watching from the Polka Dot Powerhouse uh, members group, if you're watching from Cohen Coaching, thank you for all of you guys. If you're watching from the Heartland Social Work Hub, thank you all my social work uh siblings. I, um, I can't do what I do every day without you guys. I'm actually going to share this out one other time while I'm talking here. Maybe. And see if I can share that out to some other people to get some get this party started because um, we want to take this message in a bottle that I've got behind me right here and we want to get that message out as far as we can we can take this one message stick it in a bottle throw it in the ocean right who knows where it'll be will it get to everybody will it get to the right people will it <clears throat> will it even get anywhere or is it just gonna wash up on a beach uh, on an abandoned island somewhere we have no way to know, right? So you just got this message that you're throwing in a bottle and it's all kinds of pretty. It looks like it's some great music, but it doesn't go anywhere, all right? So what you want is actually to be able to put your message out where other people can benefit from it. And so when you're networking with, with colleagues, you say, hey, I've got this 3% brilliance and you're like, oh my God, you've got what I need. So just this morning I was in a meeting and I had people who might need JB's brilliance. So I'm like, I told them, I'm like, oh, I got just the guy for you. He does, you know, accounting taxes and he does a tax advisor and consultant. He, he does, he's, he's beyond the 3% brilliance, just so you know. I'm going to hook you up with him. So I've taken his 3% of brilliance and put it out to somebody I know because they don't have that there that's in their 97% pile and then their 90 their 3% brilliance is administration of agencies so I know they're looking for doing some consulting there so I'm gonna be on the lookout I'm gonna have my ears open for people who need that so that's one way you can use each other's lists and just help each other out is listening for what what do your friends and colleagues in business need? You're not, even if you're in the same audience, you're not in competition with each other. You can easily be in collaboration with each other because your 3% might overlap a little, but they don't, they hardly ever overlap completely. And even at that, there's enough stuff to go around. Um, when you put two people with 3% of brilliance together, you've got 6% of brilliance you could make something really cool out of. And I've watched collaborations like that happen too. Um, and I'm going to go back to JB for an example. He and three other people have are forming a brand new business and a brand new consulting company to teach people about their taxes, legal stuff, and accounting. Um, and credit repair, credit work. What business person doesn't need that brilliance, right? And so that's four people's was 12% of brilliance in one place. You, you just can't beat that. So let me transition a little bit into how else you can use other people's lists to get your word out there. So let's take the idea we've talked about and transition it to taking your message in the bottle right here and packaging it in a recorded uh, format of, of a, just as if you were doing a Facebook Live, but all pre-recorded, or if you're doing a webinar, you know, putting a half hour to an hour's worth of material together of your stuff, your goodness. Gathering with 
for other people who have that goodness and all of you putting it out there to the world in the form of a summit. So an online summit is very much like a conference that you might go to or an event you might go to. It just all happens right here in cyberspace, right? So you put everything together there and then you use each other's lists to spread the word about this event that you're having, this one day event. And there's lots of different ways you can um, add that and monetize it. Um, you can sell tickets, you can do affiliate links, you can do pay to play where you're, you gather speakers and have them pay to play, but then they also, if they refer tickets, then they get a commission so they can get their money back in commissions and you can make money in, in the ticket sales. And the best part about it, best part, your money's not always the money you make up front with those affiliate sales and the ticket sales. The best money you make is the fact that this message right here in the bottle is getting out to lots of people who are not on your list and you are getting your message out in front of them and saying, hi, my name is Stacey Bryuka and entrepreneurs hire me to create amazing online summits because most don't want to deal with the details. They um, don't understand the technology needed to put it together and they frankly just don't want to spend all the time and planning it takes to put on a solid event. So I use high level technology, a great um, collaborative team that I've put together of people with those other 3% to put on their online event for them. So you put that message out there to people and then you say Oh, by the way, if you're interested in that, you can get my blah, blah, blah. In this case, I might say you can get my 10 keys to, um, 10 key ingredients to an online summit, AKA, and let me move the right way here. Oh, nope, I can't. <laughs> AKA the summit recipe. Uh, so the, the sign you saw at the beginning, the 10 key elements to your good, your summit recipe. And I have a PDF about that. So I say at the end of my talk, my recorded talk that I'm putting out, I say, hey, you can get this, this free offer. And so the people who are watching who are from JB's list and Kat's list and, and Tony's list and everybody's list I'm putting this, you put your event together with, all of those people who are new to you go over and get your thing and now they are in your list. And people who are interested in your information. So you've put somebody in your list who's interested in your specific message, who wants to get that that message in a bottle you've got. They want that specific one. They don't want it washing up on an island. They want it themselves. So you've got them in your list now. And at some point in the future, there's a percentage of those people who are going to be your customers. Okay, so the biggest takeaway of having an online event, whether it's a summit, whether it's a giveaway, and whether it's even a Facebook Live, is to get people to want your message in a bottle sent to them because they want to know what's in the bottle. So I'm going to say to you, I'll put the link below and you're welcome to get my message in a bottle. It is 10 key elements to a lead generating online summit. And then after that ebook that you get, you also, there's also a webinar. And then, but what I really want to do, I want to know what questions you have about using other people's lists to monetize your message in a bottle to get your brilliance and your 3% out to the world so that you can be part of those 33 people on somebody else's list who they say, oh my God, go check out my friend uh, Morgana. She's got a great whatever. Or go check out my friend Regina. She's got, she does great administration stuff. Or check out my friend Paula. She's got, his, she's got your VAs under control. She can get you hooked up. My friend RJ, she can get you hooked up with a bot. These are just examples of the people on my list of 33 because they have brilliance in areas that I don't. And I think we get stuck 
in not wanting to describe what our 97% is because we're like, I suck at 97%. I don't want to talk about sucking at 97%. And thank you, Shannon, for this message because it really hit home. I suck at 97% and I'm okay with that because I know that my 3% is valuable and I'm good with that because I love my 3%. In fact, I'm not even sure I wanna get into some of that 97% that I suck at because not only do I suck at it, but I don't like it. I don't wanna get near it, I don't wanna deal with it, it's icky, it's la la la, I don't wanna hear about the numbers on the paper, blah blah blah. I wanna do what I, what I do best, which is helping people with technology and entrepreneurs hiring me to put on online summits. So, I really appreciate your time today. If you're watching this on the replay, would you please do me a favor and type replay in the chat and tag me um, at Stacy Bryuka, S-T-A-C-Y-B-R-A-I-U-C-A. And you can also go to doneforyousummits.com and get more information about the summits. Um, hit me up with a private message and let me know um, what questions you have. I see that I have at least one person watching and I wish there was a way for me to know who that was um, because I can't tell who's watching. Um, and that's just um, the lovely part of Facebook Live. Uh, I'm using Ecamm Live, which is a program. So that's just a part of that. I can't see who's um, watching unless they put in a comment in. There's two people now. So here's the comment from earlier from Kat, which I thought was great, is the easiest way to grow your list, because it really recaps what I've just said. Easiest way to grow, grow your list is to work with somebody who already has a list. And I'm going to take that one step further and say the easiest way to grow your list is to start with 33 other people who have a great list who are not in your zone of brilliance. Okay? Your 3% is the golden message in the bottle. Let's see if I can point to it here. Your 3% is that golden message in the bottle that nobody else has. And I guarantee it's valuable to somebody. And so if you put your messages all in one place with those other 33 people and put it out there instead of in a bottle, you put it out there to the world through the interwebs you could get to not only your 33 people's list, but more. And get people to come see what you're doing. So I encourage you today, reach out to one person who has 3% that you don't have and start building your list of 33 right now. Because if you start today and you add a new person every day, one month from now, you're going to have your, li your list of 33 and you're going to be able to then build your list of amazing people who want to follow you for your 3% brilliance. And you're going to have 33 people you can work together with, with their 3% zones of genius. And get your messages out to the world. Because the world deserves your message. This is Stacy Brayuka. I have appreciate you taking the time to come by here and I can't wait to hear from you. Go to the link down below in the chat that says stacybryuka.com slash vision and set up a time to talk to me. I want to hear what your vision for 2020 is and what your 3% golden message in a bottle is. Thank you for the likes. Whoever just hit those, you just made my heart. I appreciate all of you watching. Those of you watching on the replay, I appreciate you too. I just wish you were around to see it. I just see Jonathan Bingle join just now, even though I was just getting ready to head off. If Jonathan, do you have any more brilliance about what it, what your 33% of brilliance is and what your 97% uh, of I suck is? You, everybody sucks at 97% of stuff. And that's why we have colleagues that are brilliant at the 3% and have the golden... I'm going to hit my ear with this. If I could just tap that message. 
ding, 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 a message in a bottle. What is your 3% genius that fits the message in the bottle? So tell me what your message is. Tell me what your 3% genius is. Reach out to one new person every day for 33 days to build your 33 people. Get together with them and put together an event of some kind that you can use other people's lists for. You can use each other's lists to grow your own list of leads. And you might be able to make some ticket sales in the process if you do a summit. Jonathan's 3%, I told you, his 3% of brilliance is tax strategy. He is tax king. Um, I'm going to put that up there. Tax king. Um, Mr. He, he seriously, it's, his, his crown is a little bit crooked, but he's tax king, I'm telling you. So his 3% of brilliance is tax king. His 97% of, of what he sucks at, I know he knows what a lot of those things are, and he's working with other people that have three percents in other areas and he's exploding his he's exploded a whole business that way by having other people with that their 97 the 97 percent he sucks at he gets help from other people on those he helps other people with his three percent genius and he's built an entire kingdom on it so why don't the rest of us go out and build some kingdoms queendoms put our golden message in a bottle Put it out there together with each other and make it a lot easier. <laughs> His crown is definitely crooked, uh, but it's adorably crooked. So um, I love you to pieces, Jonathan. Um, I have appreciated you guys like i said spending some time with me today i don't want to take up too much of anybody's time but if you're hit, watching the replay definitely your three percent get a hold of one person every day for 33 days to build your 33 people to fill up your 97 percent suck because that's 33 people with their three percents you've and then you've got it you put everybody together you build a, a kingdom or queendom of of connection and you go out there and take on the world um i since jonathan got here after i was talking about him i'm going to encourage him to go back and watch the replay where i talked about him so tell me what your three percent is and get a hold of me at stacybrioka.com slash vision so that we can talk more about what your three percent is because there's 97 percent that i suck at and I need to meet you to find out what your 3% is. Because I might need you. I might know somebody that needs you. Or I might find somebody that needs you. That's kind of a thing I do. So if you have 3% you're brilliant at. And you have 97% you suck at. Which means if you're breathing you do. Come tell me so that I can help you. Because, you know, I connect people. That's part of what I do. You guys, happy Thursday. I'm going to get out of here because I'm rambling now. And um, I love you all. And I will see you the next time.